Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a multi-character accessor by me. So let's get into it. Scaramouche. You're rummaging through his drawers. The soft rustle of fabric the only sound in the room. A mischievous smile tucks at your lips. As you pull out one of his outfits. A deep indigo kimono. Embroidered with intricate patterns of lightning. It's slightly too big for you. But, that's also part of the appeal. The thought of surprising him by wearing it sends a thrill through you. And as you carefully slip it on, the scent of him, a mix of cool wind and a faint touch of lavender, envelops you. The sleeves are long, almost comically so, and the hem brushes against your ankles. You turn to the mirror laughing softly at the side. It's almost as if you're swimming in the fabric, but the weight of it, the way it wraps around you, makes you feel closer to him. And lost in your thoughts, you don't notice the door opening until you hear his voice, laced with surprise and a hint of amusement. What do you think you're doing? You turn to see him leaning against the doorframe, Arms crossed, a raised eyebrow accentuating his usual smirk. His gaze sweeps over you, lingering for a moment longer than necessary. I was just trying it on, you reply, feigning innocence as you twirl slightly, letting the kimono flare out. What do you think? He pushes off the doorframe walking towards you with a slow, deliberate pace. I think, he begins, his voice dropping to that low, teasing tone that always sends a shiver down your spine. You look ridiculous, but also, he stops right in front of you, reaching out to adjust the collar that's slipping off your shoulder, his fingers brushing against your skin, you look good. Too good. You blink up at him, surprised by the compliment, your heart skipping a beat. I thought you didn't like it when I touched your stuff. He chuckled softly, his eyes softening in a way that's rare but so precious. Maybe I'm making an exception, he murmurs, his hand slipping to the back of your neck pulling you closer until your forehead's touch. Or maybe I just like seeing you in something that's mine. You smile, leaning into the warmth of his touch. Does this mean I can borrow your stuff more often? You ask, looking at him pleadingly. Don't push it, he replies, but the softness in his gaze betrays the words. And you cannot quite control that yet. His lips brush against yours in a fleeting kiss. Gentle, but enough to convey everything he does not say out loud. And he definitely, definitely loves seeing you in his clothes. But don't count on him complimenting you loudly a lot. He gets a little bit shy, even if he will never admit it. Lenny, you're in his room as you've decided to stay all right as place today. And the lingering scent of his cologne was a comforting presence as you sifted through his pile of clothes on the chair. It was not very organized lately, but you don't blame him. He's had a lot of missions, so he did not have time to put them back in his wardrobe. But as you looked through his stuff, a flash of red caught your eye and you pulled out his coat. It's a deep crimson fabric, adorned with elegant golden details. And you just decided to slip it on. It looked very fancy, probably something he used before on the stage, and it fell around you like a warm embrace. It's a bit big on you, the sleeves dangling past your hands, and the hem nearly brushing the floor but it still makes you smile. You twirl in front of the mirror, 
the coat flaring out like it does when Lindy performs his tricks on the stage. You imagine him watching you, that ever-present smile, and his eyes would be sparkling with amusement. If only you could perform magic tricks as well. Lost in your thoughts, you don't notice the dark Greek oven, or the fact that he has the exact same face you imagined, only for a different reason, until you hear his voice. Well, well, what do we have here? You turn quickly, your heart skipping a beat, as you see Linny leaning against the doorway, arms crossed, and a playful grin tugging at his lips, his eyes twinkling with a mixture of surprise and affection, as he takes in the sight of you, wrapped up in his coat. Caught red-handed, pun unintended, you say, and he chuckles. You spread your arms wide as if to show off your new look. So, what do you think? Am I pulling it off? He steps closer, his gaze softening as he tilts his head, pretending to consider it seriously. Hmm, let's see. He reaches out, adjusting the coat, the collar, and the sleeves, all with delicate touches his fingers brushing lightly against your skin. It's a bit big on you, but you make it work. You chuckle, the warmth of his attention making you feel a little bit bolder. Maybe I should join you on stage? We could be an amazing duo. His smile widens, eyes glinting with mischief. A duo, you say? The audience wouldn't know where to look. With you stealing the show... I'd have to step up my game. You roll your eyes, playfully nudging his shoulder. Always a charmer. And always charmed. He counters, wrapping an arm around your waist, pulling you closer. But you know, there's something about seeing you in my clothes that it feels like a magic trick of its own. You blush, leaning into him as he tilts your chin up his thumb brushing gently against your cheek. You make everything feel magical, Lenny. He smiles, dipping down to press a soft kiss to your lips. And you, my love, make every moment even more enchanting. He was utterly smitten with you, but that was another topic for another day. Because for now, you've decided that you will go and read his wardrobe. And there's not a single thing he could say about it.